My tip today is a bit more related to something I've been using SolidWorks for the past two or three years about. It's animations. And it's more about refining stuff that already existed inside of the software we all love. So the easy way to create a turntable animation is just to go to create a new motion study, go to the animation wizard. It's already set to rotate the model, hit next, set the direction and the number of rotations, stuff like that. The duration, let's just make it five seconds and hit finish. And for a seven second animation, it looks pretty good, but we can do better. So this time I'm going to use a camera for my animation. And for that camera, I'm going to need a path for the camera to go around and move on. And that path is just going to be a simple sketch. So that's the all the prep that I need to do. I'm just going to go to the top plane, click and drag to create a new plane parallel to it, something like that. And on that plane, I'm just going to create my sketch. And since this is a turntable animation, it's going to be a, like a, a simple circle, right? So here it is. Let me just fully define every time. And since this is a circle, it's a closed loop, so it has no like starting point and end point. So in that case, I'm just going to do like a small uh, snippet from it. And to do that, I'm just going to use the uh, center line tool to define where I want to cut that circle for myself. So to cut the circle, I'm just going to use the uh, trim tool. Cut this part away. But that's a very big uh, portion that I cut from it. So all I'm going to do right now is just create a dimension that's mm, like 0 0.001 or something. So pretty much you're not going to see uh, that it's not a real circle. And that's just it. So all I have to do now is just go to the display manager, start a new camera. And now I've got this split screen situation. Uh, on the right, this is what the camera sees. And on the left, that's my model. So for the target, I want it to be dead center on my model. So I'm just going to go and hit the origin. And for the camera position, it's going to be the path that I created. And now I've got this slider over here. So if I drag it over here, it starts from the start point that I just created all the way to the end. And that's all I need to do. So that's all the prep, just hit OK start my new motion study. And from there, all I have to do now is just go to the five second mark from here, I can just edit the camera properties. And all I have to do now is just drag that slider around. So just like that and hit okay. And that's it, I hit play. It took me a bit more prep to do, but the results speak for themselves.